Hello, everyone. Thank you, as always, Tank Boy, for the fabulous picture of Lauren. Um, Lauren Rambo. Uh, what I thought was the funniest about this picture, this picture, was it looks like, I, and it's very well done. I, <laughs> I like his little head headband. But it kind of looks like a little necktie, like he's wearing a little necktie on his head. I really like it, though. Um, Lauren Rambo. Let's get started. Oh, you fucked up because I know your name. You don't know my fucking number? Well, you fucked up. You, you fucked up listening to this, I'll tell you what. Um, I plan on interrupting this constantly, so if you're going to... Leave a stupid comment along those lines. Just leave now. Just, just fucking leave now. I will put a link in the description where you can find this call and others. Um, Lauren is talking to Paul, Casey's father. Apparently, Lauren's a little upset. No, I didn't remember your number. What's your problem? You're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> well, you're That's his future father-in-law, folks. So, <clears throat> apparently what happened was um, Paul, Casey's father, while Casey's in her sex addiction rehab, Lauren's been communicating with Paul, and Paul has helpfully um, offered Lauren a job as a lighthouse keeper. At $85,000 a year, 401k benefits, um, money to relocate, and a place to live. Because that was Lauren's other demand. Because, you know, Lauren is in such high demand that people are just vying to have him in their employ. Lauren, the lighthouse keeper. And uh, in another conversation, Lauren was asking some questions. He, w he was questioning some of this. And one of his last questions to Paul was, will you come out and meet my mom and my probation officer? So Paul is a businessman who owns, I mean, he's a multimillionaire, apparently. He owns all these companies. And Lauren um, asks him if he will come out and meet his mom and his probation officer. And Paul gets a little angry at that request. Um, he says, I'm not going to come out and meet your mom, your mommy. And he basically says, you know, the trigger words for Lauren, fuck your mom. And um, Lauren didn't take that really well. He's, he's defending her honor. You're a fucking fat hillbilly. What's your problem? <laughs> uh, I might be a fucking fat hillbilly, but compared to the shit that you fucking done, I'm a fucking I saint. I love Lauren. Like, he has no, there is no witty repartee when it comes to Lauren. There's no good comebacks, no burns. Uh, his first technique is usually, <clears throat> I'm I'm rubber, you're glue. You know, uh, you fat hillbilly, you're a fat hillbilly. He likes that one a lot. Um, it's, it's so, it's really lame and hilarious. I don't have to go to sex training for my entire life. Sex I training. I class. No, do you want to? Do you want to? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't have to go to. I mean, this is it's it's almost like watching uh, a heavyweight boxer try to go around with a toddler. Like this is it's it's almost painful. If it wasn't so funny, here I'm gonna start it again just so you can appreciate it. I've listened to this a few times and I it, I'm just giddy with it right now. Read now. Oh, you fucked up because I know your name. You don't remember yeah. my fucking number? No, I didn't remember your number. What's your problem? You're a fucking piece of shit. Well, you're a fucking fat hillbilly. What's your problem? Uh, <laughs> I might be a fucking fat hillbilly, but compared to the shit that you fucking done, I'm a fucking I saint. To, I don't have to go to sex training for my sex entire training. life because I can't pass a class. No, do you want to? No, I don't want to. That's what makes me well, nervous you, Lauren. Yeah, then you probably better watch your mouth with me because I can, uh, it's very easy for me to make it so you be able to. <laughs> you probably better watch your mouth with me because it'll be you know, really easy uh, 
me to make it so you do. His his delusions are uh, they're breathtaking. He believes because he has a federal because he's on federal probation, he has a federal probation officer, but he doesn't look at it as the probation officer protecting the community from Lorne. He looks at this team of professionals as his personal resource to protect him from the community. So if you fuck with Lorne, he's going to make it so that you have to go to sex training for the rest of your life. And I like how he kind of, it kind of peters out at the end. I mean, you better watch your mouth with me because if, probably I might have to, maybe I'd make you have to go. Yeah, it'd be very good, 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 good. Easy for me to make it so you can too. I, I'm already done, dumbass. I'm already done. Ooh, burned you, Paul. I'm already going to sex training. Who's the dumbass now? Dumbass. Piece of shit. What? I'm already what? going. I like what? You're drunk? What? <laughs> I am already going to the class, dumbass. Yeah, why can't you pass that class? <laughs> Good question. It's not a matter of passing it. You want to try and pass that class? Yeah, you'd be a long time. To, you, you would have to go to that class for 20 years before you wind up passing that class. Yeah. You know what? I'm a better person than you because I've only been in it for four years. You'd be in it for 20 if I could make you go. So, there. You'd be dead by then, Paul. You'd be dead. You would be dead by then because you would be 77 years old. An elderly person. 77, by the way, his mother's age at the time of this was 77. I just thought that was interesting. You'd be dead by then. And it would be not really by my hands, but maybe vicariously. In my fantasy, because I imagine making you go. Fuck elderly people. Wow. Fuck your mother, you fucking retard. Retard. No, wait, I thought you weren't supposed to. You retard. Drink while on probation. <laughs> I'm not drinking. Cold I'm telling you like it is. You're drunk. Yeah. No, I started me playing the other day. Fuck you, you cocksucker. You don't know my fucking mother. You don't know what she's been through, you piece of shit. So, <clears throat> the conversation, you know, when Paul says, Paul just gets really upset. And it is a little bizarre. I mean, okay, um, listen, will you come out and meet my mom and my probation officer? Like, he can't, it's just never fucking enough for Lorne. Like, he's been presented with this great job on a silver platter, and he's right to question it. He says he went and discussed it with his sex training class. <laughs> sex training. And they had a lot of, um, a lot of questions. They didn't believe it. And, um, <laughs> Lauren, Lauren had a lot of questions himself and the conversation went really well until this. And I'm imagining what happened was Lauren stewed about this and marinated on a couple of Bud Lights and called Paul back to give him what for... I, will I know what you. I know what you put Casey through. I know what you put Casey through. You fucking disgusting piece of shit. Dude, you make Casey listen to you have sex. What could be worse? Than you that? are fucking gross. You are. He's gross. He's gross. So Lauren throws out there. Um, Casey's father apparently was not the best parent and was perhaps inappropriate, and. Um, Lauren, Lauren didn't have any problem with that, you know, when things were fine and he was getting a job as lighthouse keeper. He didn't, he didn't, he wasn't too upset about it until Paul said, fuck your mother. Um, which is funny to me because Lauren doesn't really give a shit about his mom. Uh, gross what motherfucker I have ever fucking heard of. What's gross Guess what? That? Guess what? T.E.M. Holdings Incorporated. Uh-oh. Don't fuck with me, Paul. Uh-oh. What's this? Guess what? I like when he does that, too. <clears throat> Guess what? 
like a little kid would do, you know? I got a secret. Guess what? Um, what? P-E-M Holdings Incorporated? Mm, guess what? I got you now. Let's see what he's talking about. What? Do not fuck with me. <clears throat> what did you do? I got you by the fucking balls. You fuck with me. How do you have the me feds by will the be ball? on your fucking no, records. Really? The feds will be on your records. I've got you by the balls, Paul. So what he's referencing is in the previous conversation, uh, Lauren asked for the name of his company so that his probation officer could check into it. Uh, a wise precaution. And Paul made a little joke like, uh, the feds? Oh, I don't want the feds going through my records. And Lauren, being a toddler, is, uh, oh, oh, I got you now. I've got you by the balls. Because I have a whole team of feds looking out for me. And all I have to do is tell them, you need to look into the records at P.E.M. Holdings Incorporated. Which I don't even know if, if that's a real, I mean, I'm assuming Paul, Paul, <laughs> that's not a legitimate business, but there may be a business with that name, which would be interesting to think about if if Lauren told his probation officer, you need to look into this. And the whole, I just imagine like all these men in suits, like coming in with briefcases and showing their, their badges like, Pete, are you Paul whoever at PEM Holdings Incorporated? We're looking through your books. That's right. We've heard from Lauren Lynn Armstrong, and he says you're up to no good. Do you, hear that? Do you understand me? Hey, asshole. I might be a fucking hillbilly, but I'm a, I'm a smart motherfucking hillbilly. Take that in for a moment. Five years in prison made me do a lot of studying. Five years in prison made me do a lot of studying. You fools out there that went to college, what a bunch of assholes you are. I mean, you paid money to get an education when all you had to do was get locked up for five years? I mean, look at Lauren. He's a lawyer now. He's going to take down PEM Holdings Incorporated. You watch, because he's a smart motherfucker. Okay. PEM Holdings Incorporated. You wanna fuck with me? The feds will be on your fucking records. They will be fucking devouring you. They'll be devouring you. I love how like, like bold he gets. It just get, he's like, "Now nah, I got you now, motherfucker. They're gonna devour you." So I I really recommend that you do not fuck with me. What are you talking about? <laughs> so what is your plan? You're gonna call the federal government. And tell them. I'm not gonna call anybody. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna call. Them. I'm not gonna call anybody unless somebody fucks with me. He's so. It's like he's. He's got like a heavy buzz on. He's not like full Lorne drunk. And this is might be. This might be like the perfect place where he is. Like it's he's. He's angry, but not unintelligible. Um, somewhat. He's, you know, somewhat aware of what's going on, but not quite. I got you by the balls. They're going to devour you. You fuck with me, and I'll have the feds in there looking at your books. You just said you would. Yeah, if you fuck with me, I will. Yeah, if you fuck you with me. You just said you would. Now you're saying you won't? I'm saying, if you fuck with me, I will. What does that even mean? Like, from my understanding... All that's happened is he said, Paul said, fuck your mother and never mind. This is too much bullshit. Like he, he rescinded the job offer. Um, how's he fucking with Lorne? Well, other than the obvious. That's what I'm saying. If you be a fucking asshole to me, if you be a fucking asshole to me, I will. I know. I know a lot of fucking information. Like what? Oh, that's the information you you don't want me to know. You don't want anybody to know this information that I know. <laughs> I got a lot of information. Like what? Oh, don't you worry about it. You, I got, I know stuff. What? I got, I got other, 
I got a proof, Paul. What what proof do you have? I got other proof, Paul. He says to a character, a pretend person, who's who is not actually Paul, about a pretend company and a pretend girlfriend and a fake lighthouse job. The only thing that's real in this whole story is probably the rehab center. I have a lot more than you think I have. That's probably the only thing that exists. I got a lot more proof than you think I have. Listen to how, like, fucking tough he's trying to sound like he's so assured. That's that you're stupid. There's no proof. Yeah, and you keep thinking that. Yeah, you keep thinking that's that. Where you, that's where you're gullible. <laughs> that's where you're gullible, Paul. That's where you're gullible. Pretend character. <laughs> this is the fucking best. That's where you're gullible. I'm the last person on, in the world, Paul. I am the last person in the world that you, that you ever should have had anything to fucking do with. You're going to say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and Casey, too. I love when... <clears throat> there have been a lot of examples of this. Like, Lorne trying to be intimidating and sound tough, and he's really angry. And the person he's talking to just starts laughing. There's nothing worse. Has, have you ever been like really angry at someone and you really want to make them feel the full force of your rage? Like just with words. I'm not talking like beating somebody up. I'm saying like you're just so angry and so hurt or upset or whatever your emotion is that you want to make this person understand and, and empathize and they turn around and start laughing. There is nothing worse. I've, I've, I've had that in my life. It makes me want to stab somebody in the in the forehead. What do you think she sees in you? Oh, she's oh, a, uh, I'm the first person in the world in case she should have ever had anything to do with it because I'm the one taking her from your dumb ass. I'm the one taking her from your dumb ass. Lauren the Savior. Lauren has always viewed himself as, well, he's a good guy. He has two nieces your age. Um, <clears throat> his intentions are always good. I'm the one taking her from your dumb ass. Oh, Lord. Jail, Lord. From your disgusting you ass. Jail. You fucking yelled. You yelled, get your ass out of here now. Who the fuck do you think you are, you fucking piece of shit? How about you try to yell at me? See what kind of fucking effect you get there with your body guys around. Yeah, why don't you try yelling at me? See what effect you get then with your bodyguards around. Oh, that... oh, it gets better, folks. You're fucking ass. Then I'll kill your bodyguards. <laughs> You're gonna kill my bodyguards? I'll How kill your bodyguards. Bodyguards. And you. He puts on the, <laughs> the bandolier with all the bullets and the. It's got the M60. <laughs> the rocket launcher. Ties that necktie around his head. And he's going in to take out Paul's bodyguards. And then he's taking out you, Paul. Right after the feds are done devouring your records, motherfucker. How are you going to kill me? You are a fucking disgusting faggot. How are you going to kill me? You are a disgusting fucking faggot. Paul would have probably gotten a better fight, verbal tete a tete, if he went to a middle school and and selected a random seventh grade boy. Leave the state. How are you going to find me? In Why you, you can't Why leave you? the state. How are you going to find me? He, Lauren would have to ask his probation officer's permission before he could go to California and kill Paul. <laughs> uh, Maria. Um. My pretend girlfriend's father said, fuck my mother, and I want to kill his bodyguards. May I please have permission? Good. Then why don't you Good. come to this? Good. I like that, too. Guess what? Good. Hey, I'm going to say the main Paul. <laughs> Meet me face to face. Why do I come to you? Meet me oh, face to face, Paul, you fucking chicken shit motherfucker. So what started all this was him asking Paul to come meet his mommy. 
and it's a probation officer, and he says, why don't you come to Maine, Paul, and meet me face to face? Chicken shit, motherfucker. Okay, yeah, well, even if it wasn't so hilarious and so pathetic, his, his threats, why would he waste his time and money to go to Maine to, to meet someone... <laughs> To meet someone that threatened to kill him. I'm a chicken, but I'm not flying to Maine. Oh, for me to fucking drum and you fucking try to fucking kill him. Oh, fuck your mom. Fuck your mom. Fuck. That's what he's really mad about. It's not the fuck your mom part. Offer me a job and then um, you, um, fuck your mom. Fuck your mom. Fuck elderly people. He's, he's mad. He's mad because he finally had a good setup. He was getting that sweet light housekeeper job <laughs> and had a place to live and was going to be near his woman. And um, just like that, Lauren fucked it up by asking Paul to come meet his mom. The federal government. Fuck him. I don't care as long as the federal government doesn't check my boss. Oh, guess what? That was a fuck. Should have been a fucking alarm it's, to you. It's your mommy. That's you know what? You know what? The federal government check your books, Paul. Guess what? I'm in connected with the federal government. You should have shut your mouth before you said that. You're connected because you're a federal sex offender. That's how you're connected. <laughs> guess what? Guess what? I don't want anybody going through my books. Well, guess what? That should have been a red fucking flag. I'm connected with the federal government. I can't... I can't improve on perfection. That was beautiful. You're connected to the federal government because you're a fucking registered sex offender, you moron! Like, he's going to show up to his next meeting with his probation officer with these vague... What? theories about what's going on i i think he's doing bad things and the federal government's going to swoop in yeah but guess what it work for them guess probation, what? probation officers listen to me because of the fact that yeah, i'm involved in what i'm involved in because i have so many people obsessed with me they listen to what i'm saying no they don't they laugh at you behind your back guaranteed Guaranteed. I don't care how professional these people are that are on his team. They, I mean, wouldn't you, if you had to listen to every week, it was a new ridiculous scenario. I would start looking forward to when my appointments with Lauren are. If I were his probation officer, I would be like, oh boy, I can't wait to hear what it is this week. Did space aliens come down and offer to turn him into, you know, a country singer? What's it going to be this week? Uh, Sylvester Stallone offered him a job. Oh, of course he did. Uh, Dolly Parton wants him to open, do the grand opening for her chain of water slide restaurants or whatever the fuck that was. I mean, it's so ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> you know, Jesus Christ came down and gave him the serum for eternal life. <sighs> oh, really? Oh, really? How would you like to find out? How would you like to find out? I would love to find out how the stories they tell about you. I would love that. Oh, I would too. Can you put me on the phone with them? P.E.M. Holdings. Can you put me on the phone with them? And Lauren just keeps repeating, P.E.M. Holdings Incorporated. I know the name of your company. And it, isn't it interesting just how quickly, like that, he turns on Paul. Paul was his, and like I said, he was willing to overlook all of the terrible things that Paul did to um, Casey and Nick when they were children. Uh, because he was being offered a um, job. But when Paul rescinds that, all of a sudden, PEM Holdings Incorporated. Holdings Incorporated. Okay. How would you like to find out? I'd love to find out how they laugh about you and look at your dick pic well, online. Well, let me let you in on another. I'm going to let you in on another secret, Paul. Okay. My cousin, my cousin is also an investigator for the federal government. That did you a lot of good when you were in trouble, didn't it, Lauren? 
I'm going to let you in on another little secret. Now you're really fucked, Paul. Because guess what? My cousin is an investigator for the federal government. You might as well pack your shit now and leave the country. Didn't didn't really help you too much when you were in trouble that your cousin was a federal investigator. Nobody gives a shit. You're, you're powerless, Lauren. And the more that sinks in, the more enraged he gets. It's beautiful. So your cousin is also your daddy and also you're his bitch? My cousin is uh, also an investigator for the federal government. Do you and not he's understand so stupid that? He repeats it. Do I, not? I almost wonder, like, when you're in middle school and sometimes high school, you know, and kids can be very cruel. But they say, like, um, you know, horny, lorny on the bus. And he goes, no, uh, it was on the, it was in the bus stop. And it's like, guess what? All I need to do is tell him. You told me. What is there to understand? All I need to do is tell him. Is he a drunken hillbilly too? And he's not a, he's not a fucking child molester like you. Really? Really? Did he just say that? Is he a drunken hillbilly like you? He's not a child molester like you. Really? Really, Lauren? You gonna throw that one out there? That's probably not a good idea. I'm not drunk a drunk hillbilly? He's not a child molester like you. You're on the RSO because you're a child molester. <laughs> yeah, you go well, to sex class mm-hmm. every week because you're a child molester. Yeah, well, you can't leave the you might want to be you might want to be careful because you might be in prison. <laughs> I love the way he says that. I don't know why that tickles me every time I hear it. You want to be careful because you're going to be in prison. Oh, Lauren. Uh, you were in prison. If you prison, fuck with me, if you no, fuck with me you're going to be in prison. You're going to be in you prison. No proof, you fuck with me, Paul, you're going to be in prison. No, you're going to be in prison. Didn't you know, Paul, Lauren is a probation officer. He's also Emma's lawyer. He knows the law. He knows law enforcement. What all I need to do is, is, is go. All I need to do is go to when go to fucking class and daughter, say something about you. What you. All I have to do is go to class and say something about you. Uh, after all the ridiculous stories that Lauren has probably told in his sex training class, do you think they would believe anything he says, even if it were the truth? Can you imagine? Like he finds out some incredible conspiracy he has proof but no one will believe him because of all the ridiculous shit that he's come out with you think they're gonna say then all i need to do is she's not even your real fucking daughter you stupid fuck you oh, that's another thing that pisses me off she's not even your real daughter because he's he raised her but he's not he, oh god i'm turning into lauren um, no. he's not her biological father so it's not, she's not even his real daughter. So I don't know about you. I wasn't raised by my biological father. So I guess the man who raised me isn't my real father. Fuck you, Lauren. You fuck your daughter. So what? Yeah. Oh, so what, huh? You're not even allowed on the What's that going to say? You be trusted. Uh, really? What's that going to say? You bought, you bought your daughter? Wait, where's your proof? Wow, there'll be a fucking huge investigation on that one out there. Another one. And you know, Lauren is is so offended. You bought your daughter? There'll be a huge investigation on that one, if you fuck with me. So in other words, it's it's a big deal, but as long as you don't fuck with him, it's not that big a deal. Nice, Lauren. Real nice. His His, his morals are... You child molester. You, you, that'll put you in prison for even longer. A word you say, because you're a fucking dumbass. Really? All I need to do is fucking say Paul and PEM Holdings Incorporated. PEM Holdings Incorporated. PEM Holdings Incorporated. Like they're gonna Investigate them. Investigate them. All I have to do is go in there and say, 
investigate them, and they're going to get right on the case. Ew. After laughing their asses off for 30, 40 hours. Oh, you don't think they will? No. I know they won't. How would you, how would you, how would you like to try me? I'd love to try you. I'd love to they try won't you. Find anything out on me. He's they won't begging. Find a word you know what? Paul is begging him. Go ahead. I want you to. I think it would be funny. Lauren's not getting it. At this point, he should just hang up the phone, cut his losses, and move on with his 18 pack. Say. Really? Really? Like I said. It's a, really? Guess what? Really? That's all he's got. He didn't. He wouldn't even need to speak. He could just get his own soundboard. I have a cousin. I have a cousin that I grew up with. All right. It's, I'm not it's, it's, it's it's a federal Armstrong. investigator. Yeah, you Do said that. Else. Cousin Armstrong's not scaring me. Well, you're a fucking disgusting piece of shit. <clears throat> like this multimillionaire wouldn't have covered his bases, or if for some reason they did investigate him, like he couldn't afford to defend himself against Lauren Armstrong. Guess what? I have a cousin. I don't know if I mentioned this 50 times or not. You know what? You're a gross, <laughs> motherfucker. You're gross. This... Well, guess what? You're gross. Take that. You're gross. Oh, oh, I'm defeated. Oh, I'm dead now. I'm gross. Yeah, yeah what you need is you need to fucking lay down on the fucking ground so that somebody can fucking squash your fucking, your face in the fucking dirt. Hey, that's what, what you are. Yeah, lay down on the ground like I used to do in my apartment in Nashville when I chatted with Kayla Marie Armstrong for a month. And then I got arrested and studied law in prison, and now I have a whole federal investigative team. And, and you need to be fucking day. shit on too, because you're you fucking, you are fucking gross. He's a I am gay. If I am ever fucking meet you face to face, I will beat the living fuck out of you. You can't leave the state. I will beat the living fuck out of you, pussy. No, you won't. You'll cry like a baby, like you did in front of Chris Hansen. <laughs> Ah, oh, the end. Oh, we'll do another one, friends. I'll have to put the uh, link in the description for you all. Thank you for joining me. It's been a delightful, I don't know, 32 minutes together. Hope to see you soon. Bye, sweethearts.